So this uh, episode is pretty short, I hope, <laughs> at least. Uh, I thought I would show you uh, something I've been working on, uh, a layer style using geometry generators um, that uh, does something that I needed it to do, and uh, hopefully other people can also use it. Uh, first of all, I have uploaded it to the QGIS hub, and if you don't have the uh, QGIS hub, uh, what is it called? QGIS hub plugin, um, then I suggest you install it. So the first time uh, you run this plugin, it will uh, download a lot of metadata from uh, from the site, uh, and it, that can take a bit of time. So it will generate this button, QHub, and uh, when you click it, as I mentioned, the first time it will take a bit of time. Uh, but there we go. What it does uh, during this time, I think, is that it downloads all the imagery and uh, all the information about the uploaded styles. So the style I've created is called uh, Open Polygons or Open Polygon. And uh, it is a way to style a polygon so you have open ends. Uh, that follows certain rules. So uh, let's add this style to QGIS. Done. And let's start a new project. I want to do it in a coordinate system that is relevant to me. It doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, and then I'll just use a temporary scratch layer, make it a polygon, use the same coordinate system, and uh, apply this style. So hopefully I can have it here. Oh, I, it may not be in my favorites. So it's open polygon, like that. I'll get back to the geometry generator a bit uh, later on, but that's not uh, the important uh, thing for this video. The important thing is to show you how to use it. And uh, it's simply a line and a fill. And if I draw, uh, let's say, a, a road that goes like this, it has an end there. And then it turns this way like that. What the styling does, it's, it draws lines on the edges, or but not at the ends. And uh, simply put, it checks uh, each segment and its neighbors. And if one segment has two neighbor neighbors that uh, deviate more than a, a threshold value, then it will not have a line. Uh, so for each segment that has a neighbor with uh, a smaller deviance in uh, azimuth or direction than the threshold, it will get a line. Um, what this means is that you can do pretty complex stuff, but if to exemplify, let me just make a square like this. That will have no neighbors that uh, have a, a, an angle that is lower than the threshold, and default threshold is 45 degrees. But if I edit this and add a, a vertex to any of the sides, this angle between these two uh, segments is less than that threshold. So they will be drawn like this. And uh, 
if I pull out this much, it's too much. So the angle difference between them are greater than 45 degrees. If I move it in like that, perhaps, it's below the threshold. Uh, you can draw, uh, let's say, a river. Oops, need to use the right tool. That ends there. And then it has a delta, perhaps, like that. Like so. Uh, you can even draw an island in this. So let's select that feature and add, um, add ring. Uh, one issue is that it compares uh, the, the segments in, in sequence. And since this, this will be a multi-polygon, uh, uh, it will compare the last segment I draw, draw here. So if you can remember in what direction you draw that one and start in another direction here. Otherwise there will be a line between the end of that and the start of this one. So I think I'll do my island like this. And as long as there are no segments here that are uh, above the threshold value, it will work just fine. But there, there is one that has are over that value, but I can fix that by adding one more like this. Now that worked as well. So uh, for the geometry generator, it's complex. Uh, I, I iterated a lot over this and to, to get it to work. Uh, but th the thing that you need to concern yourself with is the, this value here, uh, 45 degrees. I can decrease this to 25 and now you see this one got lost because that angle is uh, more than 25 degrees. Is it more than 35? Yes, it is. Is it more than 40? No. So you can tweak the tolerance for uh, the bend in your uh, segments. Uh, one issue, uh, I had to consider how fast this style would be to draw. Uh, so right now I think I have a suitable level of um, requirement for uh, drawing it, uh, but it also has limitations. So if I, for instance, make this a bit more uh, transparent, you may be able to see here, let me make it a big, bigger, zoom in. You may be able to see here that some segments are darker than others. And there is also overlap between segments. Uh, and that is because the outer lines is not one single line. They are segmented lines. Uh, so there are duplicate sections of lines. Uh, that is possible to fix this, but that will uh, affect the speed of rendering. So right now I am more happy to have it pretty quick and not using uh, opacity for the outlines. Uh, that works for me. If I need opacity for the entire line, that is another thing. That, that is not a problem. So you can still use opacity for the entire layer, but not for the... Uh, style itself. That's just the background, yeah. 
So let me see. Do I want to add anything to this? Yeah, I, I don't think it will matter to look at the code anymore. You, if you're interested, you can do that yourself. Uh, it's probably, probably it could be more optimized. Um, but uh, for now, it does exactly what I wanted it to do. And um, hopefully it can help someone else as well. See you next time.